Hello to all my fellow YouTubers out there. This is New York Stilo with a video of the unboxing of the brand new Aqua C EV240 with Mag Drive 18. As you can see here, this is a side by side view of both skimmers. On your right, you're going to see the EV180, which is a really, really good skimmer. It's rated up to a 180 gallon system. And you can see, I just took it out, and this is what it has collected in, in 24 hours. So you can see that in 24 hours, on a daily basis, no lie, if I was to clean the skimmer right now, and it's 7 o'clock, 7 and change, tomorrow at 7 and change, this skimmer will contain this much um, collection. It always does it up to here. And then this here just kind of like drains down to the collect to the uh, the um, the reservoir container that I have next to the skimmer. It's a really really great skimmer. However, because I'm going to upgrade to the 240, I mean to the one 180, 180 gallon system, I went ahead and got my hands in this big bad boy. Now this is the Aqua C E V 240. And it's being powered by a Mag Drive 18, which is going to be uh, running 1,800 gallons per hour through this skimmer. It's it's incredible. You can see the huge differences. The 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 collection cup is is actually about an inch bigger. The inner diameter of the foam um, neck is actually a lot bigger than this one, which is relatively small. This one has a 5 inch neck diameter and this one has a 6 inch neck diameter. This EV180 also has a 1 inch output as you can see here. And this bad boy here, you can see the differences, has a 1.5 inch output. So it can handle a lot more flow. Now. The skimmer uh, body is, of course, um, a lot bigger. It's probably an inch bigger all around, which is a good thing. It'll, it'll allow for uh, longer contact time. But before we continue, let me go ahead and remove the collection cup here. You can see this thing is just nasty. 24 hours people I swear on my mother's life I don't know what to tell you I, as the Lord is my witness this is what I get on a 24 hour basis so the skimmer is very efficient now let's put this down here and let's look inside of the skimmer the skimmer contains a I don't know if you can see it well I'm gonna let me move this one so that it can have more light inside. Now the skimmer contains a bubble trap, which is um, that clear piece of tubing. And the way the skimmer works is that water is injected into this here. And if you take this and, and remove it, which I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. This is, this skimmer uses, this is the only skimmer that actually uses this technology, which is called a spray injector. The water flows through the intake of the skimmer and this little clover type like design pushes the water with such force and such power it, um, it's basically brute force pushing the water into the the skimmer and the skimmer the the air first hits the bubble plate and then pushes it right up into the neck of the skimmer. Now, with the amount of flow that's coming into the skimmer through the inlet, here is the air valve. You can control this um, to give you either wet or dry skim. And the amount of force that's coming into the skimmer is actually what's forcing 
air to be pulled into the skimmer, mixing in the chamber, and eventually um, releasing it up the uh, neck and into the uh, collection cup. So this is what this one looks like from the inside. Now let's take this big bad boy here. I've got a mess because um, I'm actually, I have to lower the sand bed a little bit to be able to add this bad boy. So let's take this, this collection cup off, which is even difficult for me to grasp it. Let's see, how do we get this bad boy off? Wow. Give me a second, let me just put this camera down because I can't do it with one hand. Okay, we've got it off. As you can see it, it's here. Now, this is what this skimmer looks like on the inside. You can see the huge tubing that is actually, it's, a, it's, it's twice the size of this 180. So as you can see, this is going to be my new baby. I'm going to be attaching this baby to, um, this bad boy is going to go into my 90 gallon in the meantime until I find a good deal on a, one, on a 180 gallon tank. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it has been educational for you with uh, these type of skimmers are very different than the cone skimmers because the cone skimmers actually rely more on the bubbles to be able to rise up in the neck and the majority of the pumps are very low in water volume and they don't process enough of the waste as these type of skimmers do. This is why my friend has an, uh, a Super Reef Octopus skimmer and I collect in two days what he collects in five, six days. So um, a lot more water is being processed through the skimmer and I can tell you that this bad boy is going to be it. I'm going to be doing another video after I install it showing you guys the changes that I've done to the sump and then I'm going to be doing a third video on my review of this skimmer after about a week's uh, of operation. So, um, actually, if anybody's interested in this EV180, um, the proof is here of what you can collect in 24 hours if you have it set up the way I do and installed with a mag drive 9.5. So there's actually 950 gallons per hour flowing through this skimmer continuously. You guys can let me know whatever. I plan on keeping it, but you know, I'll probably let it go for dirt cheap because the tank that I'm setting up in the room now is actually a 30 gallon saltwater tank. It's gonna have a deep sand bed. It's gonna have the clown that was in my sump. And this is until I can get my hands on the 180. So this EV, I mean, yeah, so this EV 180 is actually for sale. I don't know. I'll probably let it go dirt cheap. Anybody that's interested, let me know. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. And with that said, this is New York Stilo signing out. I'll be installing this bad boy tonight. By tomorrow, I'll have the uh, update video of what it looks like and the changes I've done to the song. So until next time, peace.